Hello from Özür Rover team at Öz University, Istanbul, Turkey. We are excited to compete in Anatolian Rover Challenge this year and present our Rover RS2. In November 2014, undergrad students from Öz University who are passionate about the field of robotics established the Özür Rover team under the advisement of Dr. Özkan Bebek. Since then, the team has pursued two main goals preparing young undergrad students for their careers in space robotics and participating in various engineering competitions to gain valuable insights to improve our learning experiences. Since 2014, the Özür Rover team has competed in several competitions, including the University Rover Challenge, European Rover Challenge and Technofest. We have had the opportunity to compete in URC finals for the last three years. This year, the team is set to compete in the Anatolian Rover Challenge, marking a new milestone for our team. The team is currently operating from the Planetary Robotics Lab at Özgür University. Our laboratory advisor is Dr. Özkan Bebek. The Planetary Robotics Lab is a hub for advanced faculty research in robotics, innovative engineering student designs for national and international robotic competitions, and interactive learning for all students who have an interest in robots. The lab has its own dedicated budget from the university and is equipped with a variety of tools such as power supplies, 3D printers, drills, computers, and robotics hardware, including sensors, controllers, and motors. Rover's mobility system utilizes base chassis with a frontal mount to place different robotic platforms. This feature is leveraged for versatility between mission tasks that require specialized equipment, such as robotic manipulator, spectrometer module, and more advanced systems. The chassis connects to a rocker shaft suspension on its rear and lower ground clearance and enhanced turning capabilities. The wheels are made from a combination of aluminum and steel. Each wheel has an outer core with steel treads for maximum traction and optimum sinkage. While the inner core is aluminum with the cavity shaped inner parts to balance flexibility and stiffness. The rover is powered by AK70 actuators explicitly chosen for their high torque and RPM which significantly enhances the rover's ability to transfer obstacles and maneuver in various terrains. This system was chosen after careful consideration of mission requirements and different scenarios that we might encounter. Retrofitting was also done with ARC's mission objectives in mind, ensuring that the rover is well equipped to handle challenges of the competition. The mobility system weighs 42 kg and with the addition of modules it is expected to not exceed 52 kg. This ensures that the rover does not exceed maximum weight requirement of 55 kg. The overall dimensions of the rover are within 1.2, 1.2 by 1.2 meters and it has a clearance of 28 centimeters from the ground. Rover's electrical system includes a 33.6 lithium-ion battery that's in configuration of 6 series 8 parallels. It has a mass around 5.2 kg and powers all the systems in the rover. A BMS pr protects those batteries for an extra layer of protection. Rover uses a custom-designed power distribution mold. Perfidia features the other boards. The board itself is in the dimensions of 20 by 40 centimeters and roughly has a mass around 800 grams. The board includes customized synchronous buck converters that can be adjusted to using the daughter boards. All power electronic designs are simulated to their extremes to ensure the compliance with IPC standards. In the heart of our rover is the Jetson TX2 computer, which communicates with all the motors, microcontrollers, and sensors using Canon USB. As such, the microcontrollers team designed STM32 development boards that incorporate CAN. The science board includes a custom developed brush motor controller to fit in with other systems seamlessly. This year, a new 5 tow robotic arm was designed. Brushless DC motors are used in first for decrease of freedom. Psychological gearboxes are designed to achieve required torque without back drivability and backdash. Connectors and joints are 3D printed utilizing carbon fiber based filaments with high strength to weight ratio. Carbon fiber 3K tubes is used as links to achieve low weight. The end effector implements a parallel gripping system. TPU fingers are used to increase the gripping force area. The end effector has a slip ring mechanism allowing for infinite rotation. This allows rotational dexterity, improving maneuverability. The total weight of the manipulator is 10 kg and it can hold a 6 kg load. Thanks to the precision, the manipulator is able to flip and rotate switches, 
press buttons and pull cart without any challenge. Our robotic control flow follows the appropriate design requirements in line with the use cases within mission task. For development, Gazebo accommodates the simulated hardware of our robot that we build our control applications upon. Rust Control is used to create a hand-tuned trajectory control interface for higher level control. Appropriate hardware interfaces were developed for utilizing CAN bus to control all joints. The autonomous stack has upgraded target tracking capabilities by using custom training and deployment pipeline built upon ULA V5. We are able to detect and localize targeted visual markers using our Z2i camera. The system design allows for ease of scaling if support for other visual markers are required in the future. ROS is used for inter-process communications, and RRT Star Pathfinding service draws paths while a PID path tracing server follows drone trajectories. A state machine checks for collisions and records detected markers while moving to goals. Science module initiates sampling with a drill that can dig 15 cm into Martian soil. The samples we collect go straight through a flexible tube systems to reach the sampling compartment. We utilize Bradford assay to deduce the protein concentrations of samples. We observe the binding of protein molecules to Comasi brilliant blue dye, which results in a shift in the dye's absorption maximum from 465 nanometer to 595 nanometer, proportional to the protein concentration. CCD spectrometer allows us to graphically analyze the compounds in selected samples. RS also has sensors to measure air quality, detecting gases like ozone, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, and formaldehyde at very low concentrations. Lastly, we have sensors to measure humidity, temperature and light. With this data, we can gain insights into Martian atmosphere and reason the potential for water presence beneath the soil. Co the communications are done with a sectoral antenna mounted on the base station that tracks the rover's omnidirectional antenna. The current algorithm seeks the optimum RSSI value obtained from the network interface. The available bandwidth is expected to fluctuate during the mission to compensate for this. An adaptive streaming pipeline exists to accommodate a live feed that will not congest the network. Low density data such as joint angles and collected sensor measurements are serialized and relayed using a ROS network over the Wi-Fi.